Hello lovelies, welcome back to another video with Easter almost approaching. I wanted to do this fun Bugs Bunny inspired nail. So before we begin, many, many, many apologies for the horrendous plaster and um, the state of my nails as well. I was supposed to go in for a hospital procedure, but that was obviously cancelled with things going on at the minute. Um, and I cut my thumb, sorry, my thumb really bad and I can't draw the gloves on. So there we go. That's, we're just kind of having to deal with it. But anyways, um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys um, doing a character nail from the actual design to the completion. Um, I should say that I haven't done a course, I'm not a professional at this and there are many fantastic courses out there at the moment. Um, but this was just basically me doing my thing and what I felt would work for me. So this here is on a sort of scrap piece of paper. I just kind of wanted to get the idea off the face um, and what I would be sort of doing on the nail when it came to it. So this was kind of like a practice run on a, obviously, you know, much bigger. Um, so putting those sort of like two cross, it was kind of like uh, cross reference uh, lines down just really helped uh, for me to place the facial features such as the eyes and the nose and the mouth and kind of just sort of helped me get things into scale that little bit better. Um, the reason why I wanted to actually show you guys me drawing the bunny on the page, um, it, it just, you could, you could definitely see the sort of the steps that I was doing better because whenever it came to actually doing it on the nail, it is so, 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 so tiny um, that I thought, well, if you wanted to recreate this, you would see and get sort of a better in-depth as to... Um, you know, sort of how I designed it, how, how I sort of done it basically um, initially, and then you would just sort of scale that down. So I thought that this here bit would be pretty crucial for you to see on paper. Um, and then you could sort of watch me go through the design elements um, of sort of filling that in on the actual nail. So I'll just be quiet and let you guys watch this here. And uh, you can see it sort of coming together on paper first. Okay, so just to very quickly let you guys know what I've done with the nails, I've put two layers of Snow White down and a layer of the matte finish gel as well too, to make it all matte. Now obviously, looking at that there, it is an absolute nightmare. It looks horrific in every sense, but honestly, I promise, trust me, if yours looks as bad as this here initially, um, I, you know, even the rubber that I had, the eraser, it was just... Oh, it was a nightmare, but um, this here is really just the roughest sketch. Ideally, if you can keep your lines as light as possible, um, but this is just sort of giving me guidelines to go over because I'm going to be filling it all in anyway, so you will sort of see the steps that I'm taking to um, to sort of to, to bring it all together. And obviously by the end of it, you won't see those nasty pencil marks, but... Um, Anyway, starting off, I'm just going round and sort of outlining uh, various bits that I know that I kind of want to stay within, if that makes sense.
Okay, so um, now that I have flash cured my grey, um, that's what I, I meant to say actually, going along it is actually quite good to flash cure after um, each colour or even just sort of each design element if you sort of think yes I've got that how I want it and I don't want to ruin it, pop it into the lamp for even a flash cure just to kind of hold it or set it. Um, but now I'm going in with some white and just kind of filling in the little white bits um, such as his eyes and parts of his face and stuff like that there. Um, and then I shall do another flash cure on that um, or possibly even a full cure actually. I think I do do a full cure um, just to make sure that everything is held in place. Okay, so now it's time to fill in with grey. As you can see, the white areas are all done. And I did go in with a tiny bit of pink on the nose as well too, which is so cute. Um, so going in now, just sort of fill in, like I say, round the rest of the facial features with some grey gel polish. And I'm really just taking my time. I know it looks like um, I'm going really quickly, but I'm actually not. I think I spent um, probably a good hour to hour and a half on this design um, last night just really taking my time and thoroughly enjoying it um, so yeah and that's that is the amazing thing about nail art it's so therapeutic so calming so um so yeah that's me just basically filling everything in i will go in with a second coat of this to kind of make sure that everything is evened out but for now i'm just going uh, sort of as gently and as delicately as i can um if you get a blob on your brush just kind of like stroke it through just be very careful of how much you're actually applying um and just always keep watching the sort of the, the bristles on your brush because you will find that sometimes you know you will load it up a little bit too much and you can just sort of you know wipe that off because it's it's easy enough to do and it'll just sort of keep everything nice and streamlined Okay, so now that we're back out of the lamp again, I am just going in with um, a few different colours um, in this sort of section, but um, I will be flash curing between each colour. So um, I've done the little tongue and I've used pink for that there. And then I am going in then with like a beautiful sort of burgundy colour just to sort of do the inside of the mouth as well too. And this here was definitely the most challenging part for me, especially sort of, you know, going around the tooth and the tongue and sort of like, you know, making sure that everything was, you know, really, really, really neat. Um, this was definitely probably the <laughs> the the one feature, um, the one element that really took the most time but again it was so enjoyable so um, and once I have those elements done then I just go in for a cure and then uh, what I've done is I have got some black gel polish and I am just going in with a teeny tiny amount and I am outlining um, just sort of round the features in that there just to make everything pop a little bit more so as you can see I'm sort of starting off round the mouth and I just continue this throughout and just kind of put my line work in then just to make all those little features all stand out and come together Okay, so as you can see at this point here, I actually made a bit of a whoopsie with the brush and um, 
just using literally um, a little cotton bud and some gel cleanser, I was able to go back in and um, just kind of wipe off that excess and uh, leave it to dry basically and then sort of just go back in again and just be a little bit more careful. So what I would say is if you keep a cotton bud um, with some gel cleanser, some alcohol, that kind of thing beside you and um, so that you can actually just go in quickly and rectify your mistake. So don't worry, it is gel polish, it will wipe off again but this is why we flash uh, cure sort of you know between layers to make sure that if we do do a mistake it is easily rectified and we can wipe it off and then we can go back in and start all over again. Um, hopefully not too much of course. <laughs> Um, but there we go. This here then is just sort of the last of adding the details uh, then with the black gel polish and uh, it's just sort of adding the eyes and stuff like that there and you can really see everything starting to come together. Um, and then once we have these little bits done, then we're just going to go in for a cure. Okay, so at this point you're seeing major developments than before. Um, what I had done was I went back in with some grey gel polish and softened out those black lines that I had done previously. Just basically went back over it, just to soften things out. I felt that they were a little bit too harsh. And I also made the eyes just a little bit taller. Um, I thought that they just sort of looked better that little bit taller. So I'm really happy with it. Um, I put lemongrass, a colour called lemongrass, uh, um, on the background of the nail and also some stamping with the festive, it's the Moyu festive collection plate number 58, the Easter one. And now I'm just going in with some wet finish, I'm just going to encapsulate it in some wet finish gel and uh, this will just add a beautiful thick glossy sheen and uh, just float it on, make sure you don't disturb the stamping too much. And then we can pop it in the lamp and um, that's us done. We can see the reveal shots. So there we are guys, that's it. That's it all finished and um, under the light and just looking beautiful. I really, really, really am happy with this. Um, like I've said before, I'm not much of a freehander, but um, sketching this out and putting it onto the nail, definitely putting it onto the nail is the hardest thing. Um, but I really enjoyed doing this and I hope you liked it and I hope if you're going to do it too that um, perhaps my steps might be helpful for you but definitely give it a go it's so much fun um, so thank you so much indeed for watching don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done already and you can leave me a comment down below so have a great week and I will see you all again next week bye